Now, a second set of principles I'm going to discuss uh, have to do with problem solving. Uh, you know, school today is often not about solving problems, it's about learning facts. Um, and we've known for a long time that if you concentrate on teaching facts, you can get tests passed, but it doesn't correlate with being able to actually use your knowledge to solve problems. You know, you can know how to pass a physics test, you can't use physics knowledge to solve problems. Uh, if we focus on problem solving then, and people use facts and they use information and they use formulas as tools for solving problems, then you get both. You get a retention of the facts and you get problem solving. Now games, if you think about it, are just interesting problem spaces where you're given good tools for problem solving, you feel true engagement, and you're given a lot of feedback. And indeed, you use knowledge, you use information uh, to solve those problems, but the goal is problem solving. Uh, a game is good problem solving with a win state. That is, you know when you've accomplished it. Now, the first principle that we're going to discuss about good problem solving in games is a very important one and another one that's often ignored in education, and that is when you're going to teach people to solve problems, it is crucial how you sequence the problems. You know, in a lot of liberal education, we stress throwing kids into rich environments and letting them do what they want. In fact, because humans are so creative, if they start with the wrong problem, they often find very creative solutions to it, but th those are a, that solution is a garden path. It doesn't lead to better solutions for later problems. Uh, the human mind is built in such a way that you need to sequence problem solving so that the problems people see early uh, lead to generative solutions that work later on for harder problems, that send people down fruitful paths. Now, sequencing problems is core to games. It's just level design. No one starts a game with the hardest level. Each level is meant to teach you how to solve a problem that will lead to even better solutions for harder problems on next levels. So uh, this is a very important principle for how the human mind works, for how human learning works, and we need to bring level, de level design to schooling.